All right, I greet you in love and I greet you in peace and hopefully uh, in understanding. Um, I haven't been really recording a lot of stuff um, these last couple of days. And um, basically it's because I've been getting a lot of, a lot of downloads um, from Spirit. And as I, as I do this, um, I want everybody to realize that the things that I'm saying to you um, come to me as prophecy. I am a corporate, what they call a corporate prophet. That is one of my spiritual gifts. And because that is one of my spiritual gifts, I often, um, I often struggle with it. Uh, because sometimes when you um, hear things or you see things in the spirit, um, they're very difficult to digest. And they're very difficult um, for you to see and for you to have to experience because we experience these things in the spirit and we see these things in the spirit. Whether you believe or you don't, that that's not my purview. I don't I don't care. <laughs> so if, if you don't, fine. See you later. Bye. If you do, then um, you know, um, stay around. So what I saw, or what I've been, and and it's not only it was not only one time, but what I saw was this um terrible amount of destruction and most of it in in terms of fire um, the destruction was occurring through fire and there were a lot of people who were dying and I'm not saying this look and the other thing is I'm not saying you saying this to scare you I'm, I'm saying this more so as a warning not that it's that not that it's going to happen but that potentially it could happen depending on our reaction to spirit now with that being said what is happening in the earth is that the primordial mother the feminine energy is being returned, is returning to the earth. The earth, whether you realize it or not, is a living organism. It's a living thing. The you know the water, all of the, everything that's here uh, has a purpose for being here. And we've been put here in this literal Garden of Eden but we are not fully aware or do we fully understand the things that we are doing to our, to our planet. And one of the things is, is that the, the people or the human um, is now starting to become the predominant uh, human being or being like on earth. And the thing is, all of the indigenous people um, have melanin. They have a care, a deep care and concern for the earth. And they also are respectful of the earth and the main thing is is that they have moral authority and and once again i don't want to make this this is not black and white it is not it is not a black and white issue this is a good versus evil issue it has nothing to do with any doesn't have anything to do with race, creed, color, sexual orientation, none of that. 
once again, if you go, you will see that there are, there are what, eight point, go study, there are 8.2 billion people on the planet, according to statistics. Those people that are on the planet and that are that are through that that human system those are the those are the sons and daughters of the creative energy the creative energy our mother is upset because you have venerated every single spiritual person or deity or whatever you want to call it, but you have not venerated her. In fact, they try to they have tried to remove her completely from the spiritual system. There is no such thing as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There is no man, including me, that has ever walked the face of this earth that didn't come from the womb of old man. Plain and simple. In our ancient spirituality, and we know that in antiquity, that women could give birth without a man. We also know from historical artifacts and from archaeology, archaeological, archaeological, <laughs> sorry, discoveries that the oldest remains that have been found, they have never found any remains of any man that are older than one man, period. So what I'm trying to get you to understand is, is that we've gone like centuries removing this feminine energy, the universal law of balance requires, requires that the feminine energy must rise again. And that's what's happening. Now, the, in the last election, the misogyny and the patriarchy of religion is what prevented everybody from being able to do the right thing. Everybody is under a spell. They got you believing things that that just that just aren't true. And you're and you're falling for it because it's a spiritual it's a spiritual thing. And what we're going through now is a is is spiritual warfare. Remember, everything on the planet can be used for good or can be used for evil. But the one thing that has resonated in every single vision that I've had is to be peaceful, to be loving, to be kind, and to be understanding. That is what spirit has been telling me. So I understand that there's a lot of frustration and there's a lot of things, but here's the other thing. In all of the destruction that I saw, in all the everything that I saw, the one thing is, is that the person or persons that's doing the destroying will ultimately end up destroying themselves. And that and that's all I'm trying to that's what I want to say. It's it's not what you it's not 
going to be what you think it's going to be and how you think it's going to be because the primordial mother will defend her children, period, period. And we are now, and, and I gotta say, we are now moving out of the age of Pisces. And we're, and we're it's, and it's gonna take a while. It's not, this is not an immediate thing that's gonna happen. And all the people that's running around talking about it, it's the age of Aquarius, not true. Not true at all. We're still in Pisces. But here's the thing. They wrote a self-fulfilling prophecy, a manifest destiny. They wrote it. It is written. And then they've had people doing worshiping, doing incantation and doing all this spell work for centuries. That's why we all believe in Jesus when Jesus never existed. When he was made up by a bunch of, he was made up by a bunch of men in the room. And it's documented. You can prove it. It's not nothing I'm making up. I'm not making this stuff up. The Nicene Council existed and they made up Jesus. That's who made it up. So, we got we to gotta change positions spiritually. Say hi to each other, speak to each other, love one another, talk to one another, do business with one another, um, you know, be friendly to one another, all that kind of, because in, in this type of uh, warfare where they got all this spell work going on, it's been going on for a lot of time. The only, you know, one of the only ways that I know being a, 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 a deliverance minister is that you have to reverse. The first thing you have to do is you have to reverse your thinking. And then once you reverse your thinking, then you can come in control over whatever it is, the spirit, it, the, the, the negative spirit that's trying to, you know, facilitate whatever they're trying to facilitate. Now, and the final part of the warning was that there was a, that you guys have created coffins. And if you move towards doing anything to harm people like that, it's going to be you that's going to end up in those coffins. And I'm a man of God, so I'm not, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Because and the reason why all of this prophecy was so strange to me was because my meditation, like I meditate every morning on peace and on love and then telling spirit that I'm thankful and I'm grateful. That's my meditations. And I couldn't get I couldn't get this out of out of my spirit. And I tried. And in fact. I'll be honest, you know, I'm in, and I'm as a corporate prophet, I'm a very reluctant corporate prophet. I don't always do or say what spirit tells me. And then even when I saw this, after the after the fourth time I saw it, then I was like, well, you know, four times <laughs> it's like it's gotta be true. Or it's gotta be something that I should say or that I should do. So then I started calling other people that I know are spiritual. So that's what I did. I started calling other super spiritual people that I knew put in the work. And this, these are people that put in the work. And see, when I when I tell you that that I'm a corporate prophet or whatever, blah, 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 but I've put in work, fasting, praying, meditating, affirming doing ministry, doing all those things, Be, you know, and that, and that was a personal thing towards me. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is that, so when I get something like this, and I also, when I know that it's the spirit, I have a physical reaction, which is funny because I just literally, before I started doing this and I was on social media and I literally saw somebody on there 
talking about that. So it was confirmation. So our new spirit was confirming me. Now, the, so continue to pray, to fast, to meditate, to affirm, to do all those things. And what we have to do is something that uh, one of my mentors taught me. It was like, keep even, keep spiritually, whatever your spiritual practice is, keep it evenly, consistently the same. And then be thankful and grateful for everything, including, including and not limited to even bad things because um, because it's really it's really nothing bad. What it is doing is trying to correct your path or it's trying to knock out something that's negative or innate, which is preventing you from reaching whatever it is that you're trying to do or manifest in your life. But the people that are trying to do this to the mother's children, you, you've had your time. So let those who stole steal no more. And I'm telling you, what I saw was horrific and it was catastrophic. That's all I'm gonna say. And it's not to say that it will happen. So we need to do what we have to do to pray so that it won't happen. That's what we that's what we as spiritual people have to do because we are called. We are called to peace. There's no, in fact, even if we go religion, there's no major religion out there, no major religion that doesn't have one of its precepts as being peaceful, peace, peace. That's what it is. And a lot of, and, but there are going to be, there are going to be potential situations uh, and circumstances throughout this that will seem kind of strange and kind of weird, but it, it's like, you just have to go through it, realizing that everything, and that's the other thing, the people that they are persecuting realize that it's only temporary and you're going to come out on the other side. So don't make permanent decisions you know, for temporary problems, because for those people, for the people that are that are the children of God, everything is is temporary and everything is working in your favor. So please um, continue to be, you know, to, to try to vibrate higher and higher, learn and educate yourselves and be that person um, that the that the 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 Most High wants you to be. And then the other thing is is tap into the creative energy, tap into it, and and then once you tap into it, protect it. You have to protect your energy, especially my spiritual folks. You gotta protect your energy because that's what they're look. This whole thing about artificial intelligence and the, even the stuff here on the internet all they're doing is harvesting your your energy and your knowledge and your information that's what they're doing and then you know because and then i just said this to somebody the other day and then today i said this as well it's like they've got artificial intelligence but where does the original intelligence come from and it comes from you so that's what that's what's really going on but the thing is how far do they want to go and the other thing is they are not popular in any realm they're not popular in the earth they're not popular in the spirit they're not popular you know on any on any realm that i know so with that being said, I will go to Brother Amenemope and say, 
when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice and the righteous are eventually going to end up in power, the righteous. Now, what goes on between them getting the power and all that, I don't have privy to. I don't know. But I do know that that we win. It's <laughs> as simple as that. So when you think about it and when you're praying and when you're meditating and when you're doing your your affirmations, your negative affirmations, your positive affirmations, everything, and then be careful what you say and how you say it. The reason why we can't break the spell is because we continue to live under or within the spell and we never challenge it. You can't break a curse. You can't break a curse if you are um, complicit with it. You can't do it. So keep speaking the things that we're not complicit with. And then we have to use our spiritual power. You know, when we got whatever, you know, whatever. And I'm talking especially to my, my practitioners. You know, whatever your, whatever your level is or whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Be evenly, consistently, spiritually the same. It's not for us to change. Because... The one thing, and this is the other thing, we have moral authority. We are morally in the correct position. And even if, when they try to put down our religion or our spirituality or whatever, we are not evil, mean people or anything like that, or we're not, you know, doing anything evil, it's not witchcraft, it's not all, all that all those things that they try to say that what well, that our African spirituality is, it's not. It just simply isn't. How can it be evil that when when your when your breath leaves your body and your desire is that your heart could be weighed against a feather and that your heart would be lighter than a feather. That's our, that's our, that's our, that's our mythology. That's our ancient ancestors mythology. That's Mayat. Mayat dictates to us that we do the things that are necessary in order to be good people, to be good human beings and to respect all of the other human beings. And in, in that respect, there's like, it, there should be a mutual respect. You know, the divine in me recognizes the divine in you. That's it. So I recognize, you know, I recognize gods and all that because gods are nothing but spirits. That's what we are. You can't touch, you know. Can you touch your spirit? Can you touch your soul? Right? So once again, all of these things, the prophecy, you know, all of this stuff that you wrote down to try to imprison and enslave and, you know, and persecute and, you know, all of that other people karmetically in, in, the, in the area of karma you gotta pay simple as that you gotta pay and that's just and that's just universe that's just the universe it's not anybody mad at you or anything like that but balance the law the, the universal law of balance requires that things go full circle and eventually they got to come back around. And even in your scriptures, it says what? After 400 what years or whatever, this nation, I will judge. That's what you wrote. <laughs> That's what you wrote and signed off on and put your name on. 
That's what you spelled. Yeah, so think about it. <laughs> Just think about it. Because, like I said, the, the amount, because I kept asking, I was like, is, is this guaranteed that it's going to happen or is this just a warning that it could happen? And Spirit told me it's just a warning that it could happen. But, once again, either you follow it <laughs> or you don't. Because you're a spiritual free agent. And that's why I say be consistent. In, within, even within your spirituality. Because there are people that are trying to upset you and kick you off of your game. That's part of the whole, that's part of the whole thing. It's like they want to get everybody upset so that they get, or, or put distractions in front of you so that they can get you off of your game. But some of the stuff that, some of the stuff that I, I, and I think, and since I had these premonitions, I think that the tie spiritually has actually changed because there's, you know, there's different things, but here's the, and here's the other thing. People aren't afraid. The people of God, not afraid. There's no fear. There, the fear after is, is funny, but after the election, spirit told me that all the fear has left the bodies of all the oppressed. That they were, even though they lost the election, they still, they weren't afraid. And that's dangerous <laughs> to have a bunch of fearless people. So that's why I said the destruction could be catastrophic. But whoever, whoever is the initiator of that, it's not going to be good for you. That's all I'm saying. And I'm just saying what spirit told me to say. In fact, I have. I, and I was just talking to my sister about this. I have never. Pro, I've never prophesied anything. I've never even preached a sermon. Where I wrote anything down. Everything that I get, I get directly. I get downloaded directly from Spirit. Everything. I ain't writing none of this stuff down. I don't have to. But. It would be wise <laughs> for you to eat what I'm saying. And there's not a lot of us corporate prophets left. There's not a lot. So, and like I, and then when I started calling around to other spiritual people that I know, they were like, pretty much, you gotta, you gotta deliver that message. You have no choice. So please be warned. <laughs> Don't try in a whole bunch of shenanigans because the, the 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 mother's children are awake. Thank you very much for listening. I love you. And I wish peace, love, and understanding, uh, kindness, gentleness, joy, all of the good things. Um, be in joy. Be in peace. Be in happiness. Be in love. Talk to your family and friends and enjoy life and live life and have fun and laugh and, and just be cool. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's what spirits tell me. Anyway, I got to go. I love y'all dearly. I really do. I love you dearly. And love yourself. <laughs> I, once again, look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and do my wife and love yourself I love you Judson Brinkley Powell the third I love you Judson Brinkley Powell the third I love you Judson Brinkley Powell the third I am so thankful and grateful I am thankful and grateful I am thankful and I'm grateful for each and every single one of you and I'm glad that the divine saw fit to bring you here as a miracle <laughs>